Hello and welcome back to Friday Minis. Now, this one goes to the virtual dub users out there. There is a feature in the program that you may not be aware of, and that is known as direct stream copy. Now, here's the deal. Sometimes when we want to modify a file, we may only want to work on something very superficial, for lack of a better word. In fact, for a very limited number of operations, you can choose the direct stream copy mode which works much faster. Here's the deal. If the operation you want to do does not involve having to actually decompress the video and to work on every single frame, then you can actually use direct stream copy. What direct stream copy does is that it does not actually decode the video. It just treats it as a stream of data and because it doesn't have to decode it, it is a very fast operation. Of course, since you don't decode the video, there are a lot of things you cannot do. For example, if you're trying to crop the video or resize it or rotate it, you're out of luck because all these operations involve understanding the video as a sequence of images. However, if you're trying to do things at the container level, for example, I want to swap out the audio stream or I want to change the frame rate of the video, I can do this without decoding the video itself. Speaking of messing about with audio, there is an equivalent for the audio track and that comes under the audio menu. So yeah, if you want to change the audio track of a particular video, well, the video doesn't have to be decompressed and neither do you have to decompress the audio. All you have to do is say, I want to throw out one stream and replace it with a different stream without actually having to decode them. So yeah, that's just one fancy thing you can do. That's all there is for this episode of Friday Minis. I hope you gained some insight today, but until next time, you're watching 0612TV. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, consider checking out the rest of my work on my channel. Alternatively, you may be interested in a playlist of all the other episodes of Friday Minis. If you'd like to show me some monetary support, I am on Patreon. You can find a link to my campaign in the video description. Of course, you can simply like this video or leave a comment. I'll be sure to respond as soon as I can. To keep in touch with my future uploads, do subscribe to this channel. And for even more updates, check out the official Twitter account for this channel at 0612TV. Thank you for your support.